Hey guys, what's going on? I uh, wanted to walk us through a pull-up today and then also a pull-up progression for people who aren't necessarily ready for doing a strict pull-up. So when we're talking pull-up, we're talking our palms facing away from us. If our palms are facing us, that'd be a chin-up. So for the pull-up, I'm gonna grip the bar a little bit wider than shoulder width. All right, from here, I'm gonna be up off the ground. I'm at my butt squeeze tight, my core squeeze, like I'm about to get punched. All right, and so I'm in a nice neutral position. I'm gonna pull through my elbows, pull my chin up, lower myself nice and controlled, pull myself up, lower myself nice and controlled. Okay, so that's just a nice strict pull up. If someone is looking to progress to that, a way to do it is everyone's gonna be usually stronger, everyone will be stronger in the eccentric portion, so that lowering portion. So if they have the ability to jump, get their chin above the bar, that's where you can start. Or you can use a bench. So I'll just jump up and get my chin above the bar. And then from here, staying tight, I'm gonna try to lower myself, nice and controlled, really trying to keep that tension through my back, not so much my bicep. Trying to lower good three Mississippi, five Mississippi. Um, for someone who can't necessarily lower themselves under control, that's good where the bands can come in. So easiest way to get into the band, step up onto a box or a bench, all right? Pulling down on the band, put one foot in it, okay? And then from there, you can, you can, you can obviously do pull-ups in this situation. Again, want to keep everything tight, put your foot over the other foot, so that way you lock that band in, butt tight, core tight, pull up, nice and controlled on the descent, pull up, big squeeze at the top, nice and controlled. And then to do an eccentric with this, you obviously, all you have to do is just hop yourself above the bar, lock your foot in, and then lower yourself nice and controlled. Okay, so for those that can't do a full pull up, doing the eccentric portion, you will get stronger by doing that. Um, in, the, in the notes below, you'll find a link to the blog with the exercise program in it. One of the exercises in it, as another one of the progressions, is a ring row. So using rings, just another way to help develop our overall back strength and a begin, uh, beginning uh, progression to get to being able to do some strict pull-ups. So obviously having rings attached to the pull-up bar up high, and then from here, without the bench in my way. I just lay back under it, pull through my elbows, big squeeze at the top, lower myself nice and controlled. So the nice thing here, if someone can't be at that angle, they can be here, and as long as they're pulling with their back and not so much their bicep, they will get their back stronger. So then just from the side, a strict pull up from the side, so you can see, just hanging down, nice dead hang position, butt tight, core tight, Pull, chin up over, back down. All right, so that's a strict pull up. And then the eccentric portion, and then also to do it modified with a band, and then the beginning stage, starting with the ring rows. So if you have any questions, hit them up in the comments below. Check out the blog. Uh, look forward to hearing from you. See ya.